Hi. So, have you guys seen the Christmas tree collars? I mean, like, have you seen the prices of these Christmas tree collars? Yikes. Let's do a DIY. So, how many of us have a Christmas tree skirt? And then, if you're anything like me, if you have a cool one and you forget to put it on before you put the tree up, yeah. But I love those little Christmas tree collars. See, I should have put this in first. I love this. But I love the tree collars. And I want to let's DIY one. I know we can do this. All right, so I'm going to move stuff out of the way. This is a Dollar Tree DIY. So I'm going to pull this stuff. Give me some room. I don't know if you've seen my last... Uh, my last Dollar Tree DIY, but we did that centerpiece I just moved out of the way together. That is a recent upload. Again, this is going to be a Dollar Tree DIY, and you're going to need to plug in your plug. If you don't plug, go ahead and just plug in that glue gun and get it warm. We are going to need, hmm, why are we so close? Because that's how you have it, Trey Trey. All right, let's try it like this. So we're going to use one of these Dollar Tree laundry baskets. You guys, <laughs> I go through these like crazy. They are awesome for, um, instead of a bag, you have a laundry basket. They're great. Um, so glue gun, laundry basket. These standard essential microfiber dust mop pads yeah so i think we're going to need a lot of glue and we're going to need a cutting apparatus of some sort so i have these because these are cutters right here and i just want to i uh, did it work did it work and we're just going to cut all the way up and this little center out. I think my tree will fit perfectly in there. Look at that. That's why when I crochet, I put my yarn in a bag because my hair is everywhere. So, yeah, I think my tree shank, trunk, whatever you call that thing, will fit right there. So, this is garbage. Move that out of the way. And let's take the time to cut this. Where did it go? All right, so we have those you can use. We have these scissors. Oh my goodness, which are even better. How will it cut this? Wow, almost like butter. Oh no, until you get stuck. So, you guys, before I get too far into that, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Grandma Gaines, and this is Bohippian Life. I'm a reselling grandma. Bleh. I am a reselling grandma on multiple platforms. If you're interested in that, I will leave links in the description box below. But this video is a Dollar Tree DIY, Christmas DIY. I'm not a professional. I just see things and then I see prices and I'm like, you've got to be crazy. you got to be crazy. I know we can do this. A whole lot uh, we can do this and get it a lot inexpensive I want to say cheap but you know what cheap is cheap and inexpensive are two different things so um, again if you like this type of content don't forget to give this video a thumbs up sub I'm having difficulties <laughs> subscribe to my channel like comment subscribe and share and don't forget to check out my uh, three membership levels Wildflower, well, let me start with the first one, truthfully. Coffee Club, Wildflower, Bohippian Life. Three membership levels. Each level offers something a little bit different. And um, current subscribers, as always, everything stays the same. So I'm having extreme difficulties because I'm not a multitasker. 
you can also ha -ha, use one of these. But yeah, I'm not. I'm going to struggle and cut. So I'm going to finish cutting this. And then I'm going to cut that out. And I forgot the most important thing that you need when you're DIYing with me, Grandma Games. Coffee. You must stay hydrated. It is a plus. I mean, it is a must. I'll be right back. This is what we have right now. I took that out. And these orange scissors these things worked great and when i got here i did use the um the utility knife you guys don't forget to cut away from yourself young kids old kids like me yeah or have an adult do it yeah that's probably smarter but always cut away from yourself so this is exactly what i wanted i'll be able to get this around the tree And it's going to be a sweet looking collar. Fingers crossed. This is the collar. This turns out right. All right. You're like, so what are we going to do now? That's a weird looking collar. Yeah. So now we have these. Take your little tags off. I'm not sure how many we're going to need. I have, hold on one moment here. Let me pull these off. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. Again, I have no clue how many we're going to need. Um, but I mean, they're dust mop heads. How, I mean, if you have too many, you can't have too many, right? Two. All right, so I'm going to take these all off. Okay, so all the tags are off. My hot glue gun is warm, and I'm going to, hopefully you can see this, I'm going to put hot glue all around the top of this. Make sure that's, there we go. Nice, generous amount of glue. Oopsie, don't drop it. And we're going to place it right on our basket. Glue it right into place. Just like that. Oh my gosh. You guys. This is going to be adorable. Yes, I might have to use a lot of glue. But you know what? I don't care. Oh my gosh, I'm going to love it. Here we go. Let's just keep on going. Oops, I think Lagger's the other star of the show. needs to go outside. You got to go outside, girlfriend? Yes? Nope, stay down. Okay. And a little coffee break never hurt anybody. So, it does not matter where you put those tags. I'm just going to just put it on the bottom for no reason at all. Does use some glue and line them up right next to each other. There we go. And we're going to continue just like that. Sometimes I try to go just a little bit faster and my glue gun wants me to. And I don't even know why I grabbed the small one. I have one that is a lot larger with two settings, a high heat. And um, 
And then I have that awesome cordless one that I have no clue why I haven't used it. I do use it. I just don't know why I didn't grab it. I just didn't grab it. Anyways, let's continue. And I love using, you can use anything, any type of uh, glue, but I love the Gorilla Glue Sticks. Um, that way, if you have like a sun porch, vestibule, anything like that, your Gorilla Glue is going to stay adhered. I need another little. Where some of your glue is, um, you know, depending on the elements, your projects may fall apart. And if you're giving these away as a gift, and some of these DIYs are awesome selling ideas. Coffee break. So, while I was drinking my coffee, I put a few more of them on, and I have wondered, should I go ahead and try to squish this one in, or should I just cut it in half? Because I have two. Should I squish each one in, or cut this one in half? Yeah, let's see if I can cut it in half. Probably going to be a disaster. Let's try it. Hmm. Well, time to get the other one out and the cutting board. And that's what I did. I put it on my crafting cutting board and cut it in half. Let's hot glue it. Let's see what happens. Yes, some of the foofies came off, but that's fine. I'm gluing it down. This one is going to go over here. Not even concerned if it doesn't cover the whole thing up because that is the back. Just like that. I'm not concerned about that little bit. Not at all. And then this one is going to come on this side. Just like that. Whoops. Oh, we only got a little bit of time. There we go. So, yes, it's not on there. I mean, this is not a, a square basket. So, therefore, it's they're not on there perfectly straight. Now, I got these as straight as I could. What do you think of our tree collar? Whoops. Let me get the cutting board out of the way. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. Let's go put it on there. All right, let's put it under there. I know this is a little awkward looking and I apologize, but it's really, you could cut the top out more if you would like. It's totally up to you. There, and you can't even see the back. <clears throat> now, yes, you can see the feet. If yes, you can see the feet. If you really wanted to, you could still put your regular tree skirt underneath it. Hold on. Oh, 
but I stink and love it. I think it's adorable. And I might go ahead and put this under there. Hold on. Um, this was at my mother-in-law's and it is an extremely old latch hook. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I forgot to, uh, it's going to have presents under it, so. Hmm, yeah, maybe we'll just leave it like that. You guys. Please, if you like this, if you like this type of content, give this, please give my video a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next video.